Hello everyone. Welcome to this tutorial on introduction to XPyce Junior. In this tutorial, we will learn about XPyce Junior device, features, how to buy the device, installation of the software on different operating systems. We will also learn to connect the device to the system and demonstrate a simple experiment. Here I am using XPyce version 3.1.0. Ubuntu Linux OS version 14.04, Android version 5.0.2, Windows version 7, Firefox browser version 35.0.1. To follow this tutorial, you should have knowledge of basic high school physics. Let us first see what is XPyce. XPyce stands for Experiments for Young Engineers and Scientists. It is used to perform basic physics and electronics experiments. XPyce Junior device looks like this. It is a small compact rectangular box with dimensions 8.6 by 5.8 by 1.6 cm cube. It weighs around 60 grams. Device can be connected to the system through USB port. Here is a list of some important features of XPyce Junior. Device can measure voltages, generate plots and waveforms. It is low cost and gives accurate measurements. Device has built-in signal generator and oscilloscope. It has 12-bit input-output analog resolution. It has microsecond timing resolution. Software is available on bootable ISO image. Let us see how to buy the device online. Open Firefox web browser. In the address bar, type http colon slash slash in slash hardware hyphen availability and press enter. A web page opens with all the details to buy the device. Let us learn about the availability of the software on different operating systems. The software of XPyce Junior is coded in Python language. It is free and open source. It is distributed under GNU General Public License. Software works on GNU Linux, Netbook, Android and Windows. To begin with, let us install on Ubuntu Linux OS. We can install the software directly from Ubuntu Software Center. Alternatively, open Firefox web browser. In the address bar, type http colon slash slash in. On the page, click on Software tab. Software installation page opens. Click on the link expice.deb. Save file dialog box opens. Select Save File and click on OK. Click on the downloaded file. File opens in Ubuntu Software Center. Click on Install button. Authenticate dialog box appears. Type the system password and click on Authenticate button. Installation takes a few minutes. To open the software interface, click on Dash Home. In the search bar, type Expires Junior. XPyce Junior icon appears. Click on it to open the interface. Let us install the software on Netbook. XPyce Junior software can be installed on Netbook using LUbuntu Software Center. Right click on Software Center icon. Select Open. LUbuntu Software Center window opens. In search a package box, type XPyce. XPyce icon appears. Select the icon. On the status bar, click on Add to the Apps Basket button. On the menu bar, click on Apps Basket button. Apps Basket window opens. From the package list, select XPyce. Click on Install Packages button. Authenticate dialog box appears. Type the system password and click on Authenticate button. Installing Packages dialog box appears. 
Installation takes a few minutes. Connect the netbook to the device using USB cable. To open the software interface in netbook, click on Start button, Navigate to Education, select Expires Junior, Software Interface Open. Let us install the software on Android. Please ensure that Wi-Fi or data pack is available on your Android device. Expires Junior device can be connected through OTG cable to your mobile. Click on Home button on your mobile. Navigate to Google Play Store. Click on Apps. Apps page opens. Click on the magnifying glass on the top right corner. Type X5. Click on X5. Click on Install. Accept the license agreement. Downloading starts. After downloading, click on Open. X5 Experiments dialog box opens. Click on the checkbox used by default for this USB device. Click on OK. Interface opens. Let us install the software on Windows operating system. Open your default web browser. In the address bar, type the URL xpice.in and press enter. Xpice page opens. Click on Software tab. Scroll down to MS Windows. For Windows installation, we need to install Python interpreter and required libraries. Download and install the following drivers and files. I have already downloaded all the files in my downloads library. Right click on xpice 3.0.0 zip file and click on Extract Here option. The file is extracted. Double click on xpice 3.0.0 folder. Double click on ice-junior folder. A list of files open. Navigate to Croplus file. Right click and select Properties. Croplus Properties window opens. Click on Change button, select Python, then click OK. Click OK in the Properties window. Double click on Croplus file. You can see that Python exe file is running. Software interface opens. Please note, while installing the software on Windows 8 8.1, Enable unsigned driver installation in settings. We can connect the device to the system through USB port. Once connected, the software interface opens. Now, I will show a basic experiment using the device and interface. In this experiment, we will measure and compare the voltages of external and internal sources. To show the experiment, we require a battery as external source of voltage. Voltage of the battery is 3 volt. For this experiment, ground terminal and A1 terminal are connected to the battery. On the interface, click on A1 to show the voltage across A1 terminal. The displayed voltage is plus 3.15 volt. On reversing the connection, the voltage is minus 3.14 volt. In the place of the battery, we can use PVS as internal source of voltage. For this experiment, A1 is connected to PVS. On the right side of the interface, set PVS value equal to 3 volt and press enter. The displayed voltage of PVS is 3.001 volt. On the top left corner, click on A1. The displayed voltage of A1 is 3.008 volt. Let us summarize. In this tutorial, we have learnt about Xpice Junior device, features, how to buy the device, how to install the software on Linux, Netbook, Android and Windows, how to connect the device to the system and 
demonstrate a simple experiment. As an assignment, install the software based on your operating system. Xpiles Junior is designed and developed by Phoenix Project of Intel University Accelerator Center, New Delhi. This video summarizes the spoken tutorial project. If you do not have good bandwidth, you can download and watch it. We conduct workshops using spoken tutorials and give certificates. Please contact us. The Spoken Tutorial Project is funded by NMEICT MHRD Government of India. This tutorial is contributed by Madhuri Ganpati and Kaushik Datta. Thank you for joining.